Hello again guys to part, what is this, five of my walkthrough. Uh, in this part we're going to make it to the second temple. Uh, might have enough time to beat it actually. We're going to go in this cave first though. There is some elder guy. He doesn't really do much. But we can blow a hole in his house and take his loot. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah, he, he doesn't even... Worthless. Uh, piece of heart. Yes. Okay, back out the way we came. Now head west. The palace takes up probably about 50% of this desert, so you can't miss it. Right here is what you need. Um, get out that book that we checked out from the library and use it on that rock. And then this little cutscene happens and then the stones move around. And go up the revealed path into the second temple. It's the sand temple. This temple actually has two parts. This is part one. Skip. Okay. I like to save before every temple, and that's what that is. Um, throughout this temple, these little sand things will come out of the ground after you. And we get introduced to the laser defense turret. Which reminds me, I need to do a laser general segment on my command and conquer. Anyway, head straight north. Uh, don't get caught in the sand like that on those things, it'll just hurt you a bunch. Quite a lot of stuff in this room. Um, bunch of pots, some monsters. Trip this switch, and there will be a map in this treasure chest. Pretty handy if you, in case you get lost. Check in this room. A lot of pots and a lot of loot here. There is, there is a switch underneath one of them you'll have to find. There it is. Now both doors open. Watch out for that laser. And we do not have the big key, so remember where this room is. And the switch won't move either. And just checking down there. Not the way I want. Head north, there's a key in this room. Uh, I don't know what that says. You can hide behind the taller stuff from the laser and it won't see you, like those candles for instance. So use them as cover if need be. I like to throw pots and stuff. Okay, with key in hand, go far to the east and south. And you can use these statues as cover from that laser too. Got the compass there. Notice how it didn't even shoot a shot when I was behind that statue. And dodge the cannonballs. Big key already. This is a pretty short palace, come to think of it. We'll have time to finish it. Okay, backtrack back to where the big treasure chest is. Which was under, trip it. And you get the power gauntlets. Now you can pick up rocks. Ow. 
lounge. Took one right to the back of the head. Okay, go south once you get here. Part one of this palace is already done. Um, if you guys are low on hearts or you need more fairies for your bottles, push this rock and go in this door and there's a couple fairies here. Okay, and that puts us back out in the environment, but it puts us up on this shelf thing. Head south for a free heart piece. And now that you have the power gauntlets, you can get into the second part of the dungeon. Directly north. And I immediately take a laser to the side of the head. You can hide behind these blocks for cover as well. Notice he didn't even shoot at me. Find the one that opens the door. Ah, the first tile room of the game. Most of these tiles will come out of the ground and attack you, so you can either stay and fight, or just get the key and leave. The tiles do not drop loot. But there'll be some rooms in the future of the game that uh, requires you to kill all the tiles before you advance. So, kill all the, I don't know, dancing carpet fringe things, and then you can advance. Be careful of this hallway, I usually get just decimated here. But there is a key in one of these pots, and you do need it. Just bouncing all over the room. Devastating. Second uh, tile room. You can see the locked door up at the top. That's usually a good indication. There's a key somewhere and you can skip all the tiles. Um, and here's the room right before the boss. Remember, those guys can only be killed with arrows. The ice rod may work, but it's not very cost effective. Like the four torches? When in doubt, light all of the torches. And second dungeon guardian. Big giant worms, there are three of them. The only real danger, uh, the part where they can hurt you is, as they fly out of the ground you see the rock shards, those are the only things that can do damage to you. So just camp them, focus on the heads. It takes about five or seven shots a piece to kill them. So just whittle away on them. Don't stand, like, diagonally at the little, uh, earth-shaking points, because then you will get hit with rock shards. So stand off to the side and just swing your sword. Okay, one left. And finished. Second boss dead. Don't forget your heart container. And the second pendant. Side and take this man's life savings. He's got quite a bit of cash down here. Might as well throw a pot in his eyes. That's a, that's great. Now, 
These little crowd things, if you pick up whatever's on top of them, they'll throw rupees out. Just be careful not to kill them. Take this man's sign again. Vandalism. Get a free little prize here. And once we get up to Link's house, I'm going to go ahead and end this segment. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned.